All right, welcome to Baltimore and welcome to my daily vlog for 15 days of our cruise on Carnival Legend from Baltimore to Greenland and Canada. I wanted to do this to give you an idea of what happens on some of these journey cruises that you may not be used to Carnival doing and also give you an expectation expectation of what to expect in each port um, we're going to start this one off on day one with just a short video showing you where we stayed because i think it's a really cool hotel and where we ate that night and breakfast the next morning so we stayed at the courtyard marriott downtown McHenry row this is the hotel uh, not the largest hotel only eight floors but it's really close to the port um, to put it in perspective we got an uber xl because we have a lot of bags obviously and it cost us ten dollars you can also park your car here during the cruise for ten dollars a day um, that's the price it was this day it might change but when we were there it was ten dollars a day if you wanted to park your car and these were the rooms really nice rooms um, nice and clean um, I couldn't find anything bad to say about this hotel except that the receptionists were also the bartenders and they didn't really know how to make drinks but I drink beer so it was fine uh, there's this little outside area here that you could relax and enjoy the evening we actually stayed out here when we finished our dinner and we saw the night out in here um, beautiful evening we had great weather there there's my friend jen and my other friend eli was sitting in the chair there and then um, this was the main reception and bar area the bars on the left and then they have a restaurant in there too so just an all-around really nice hotel i couldn't recommend it enough and you'll see in a little while how close it is to the port and then right outside there was a food store there uh, there was an off license or off license that's what we call it in england there was a liquor store um, and then lots of other little stores here there was a dunkin donuts there was a uh, sandwich store, there was a Greek restaurant, there was all sorts of cool little shops and restaurants you could eat at night. And there was a really nice breakfast place I'll show you in a second. But um, yeah, a really nice area and very close to the port. I mean, if you're only in for like one night before the cruise especially. And then for dinner, we went to this place called Nick's Fish House right here. Um, we were here at five o'clock in the afternoon because we knew it was gonna get busy. Our friends Mary and Ed recommended it and they met us there for dinner. But uh, you'll see just how busy uh, this place was at five imagine what it'd be like at seven uh on on, the, on a friday so we actually managed to get tables overlooking the water and the food was just amazing they had a jazz band playing like jazz covers of popular songs uh, just a really good vibe and a really nice restaurant in there obviously maryland they have a lot of crab so we ate a lot of crab so there were, we had a crab dip as you can see right there and then um there's a grilled crab cheese or grilled cheese with crab, however you want to word that. I'm not really sure what's the correct one. And uh, a crab cake. So just excellent, excellent food and a really nice caramel ice cream dessert we had there. And then I finished up the evening in my own way with my red stripe, which is, you know, you just have to do it, don't you? And then the next morning, we went to this really cool breakfast place. Um, it's, again, it's just around the corner from the hotel. It's like a two minute walk if... Um, it's called the Iron Rooster. I think it's a chain and they were adding on the end there that brown paper is where they're extending it and it wasn't quite extended just yet, but it was plenty big enough for, for us. Um, and the, the menu in here was just phenomenal. There we all are sitting getting our breakfast. And then I can't recommend this place enough. So it's a really nice place just to hang out before, before the cruise for us. Um, they had these chicken waffles there. Uh, really awesome, the chicken with the gravy. They had special Pop-Tarts. That was a strawberry cheesecake Pop-Tart. Um, I had the crab hash because I love crab. And uh, yeah, just all around good. There's the menu. If you want to freeze the screen, look at it or just look it up online. And then just to give you a perspective of how close to the port we were, the next morning, this is right before we went on the ship, obviously, because you can see Carnival Legend coming in from its previous cruise. We took this video from the hotel uh, we just went down the floor and took this out the window that's how close the hotel was so i just wanted to give you a, a gentle start to my vlogging on this one with a, an idea of where maybe to stay before a cruise and where to eat and i hope that was helpful more to come